Welcome to the OSRS podcast where we talk about RuneScape related things of RuneScape related content creators. We did not hit 5,000 likes last video. I am very disappointed. We're going to have to end it. Sorry, boys. Check us yeah. out on our Patreon, 500. Uh, uh, but welcome. <laughs> we upload every Sunday. This video will hit 5,000 likes. And guess what? We are doing the intros. Fucking who is this? <laughs> who the hell is that? Let me put it on I swear you, it's man. not me, man. Yeah, no, no, my phone's always silent. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, we are going to do the intros. We heard you guys. Ah, they love the intros. I fucking knew it. It's part of us, dude. It's part of our blood. I am Mint Mad Cow, a man of a beard, followed by the sexy people down below. Uh, good on, guys. Rexy here. How's it going? And Rice Cup. So uh, today we abruptly uh, yoinked my boy a cold one from streaming, which I'm very sorry for, but it was uh, kind of nuts. Nice. Kind enough uh, to allow us to have him as a backup guest because we we fucked up yeah. big time this week. Man, yeah, thank you so much, backup guest. You could have yeah, just nah. been like he's the no, first. No, no, I mean like had. no, no. You we have been, to be transparent. Right? We have to be transparent. <laughs> old, just damn, in case old. you know, just in case if Jimmy's like, man, this guy, yo, man, yeah. they, they like called me two hours Jimmy. after I was ready. I was already in class, you know. So, Mint, oh, yeah, explain what what happened with Jimmy. Yeah. Is that what uh, happened? Well, first dude? off, we are very happy to have a cold one here. We are. Yeah, yeah, thank about you. Chris. MVP. Cold thank thank you very much. Line. It is an honor to be here. Yeah. Yeah. Thank I you. I mean, that. We, we, it was a good time. And okay, so when I set up podcasts, we all have different time zones, okay? People are like, why don't you put your fucking audio somewhere and do more shit? Boys, we are trying to make it right now. All right, we have not made <laughs> it on this fucking channel. Tell your friends. <laughs> All right. So every Tell week grandma, we get please. a time zone. All right. Rakesy lives over in fucking half the side of the world. Me and Rice live hours apart, you know, time zone wise. Well, Jimmy lived in central time and I, I do not know how, but I fucked it up to the point where it was like four hours gap between when he was ready and when I was ready. And I texted him. He's like, yeah, I'm already in class, dude. <laughs> yeah, so you know, yeah, I, I'm sorry, Jimmy. You you have the right to be pissed because, uh, dude, yeah, I woke yeah, up so up. tired. I'm like, I thought it was. I was like, oh, so angry. I was so angry, but it was on my own fault. So, no, nah, it was our fault too. Because like, I tried to double check, but I was like, Rake sees time zones off too by like four <laughs> hours. I'm like, yeah. So I'm I was like, wait, wait a minute, shit, dude. Yeah. Rixie's like, are you two? I'm fine. I'm like, no, Rixie. Yeah, Matt, Matt, we, like, if we I'm have two, a fiesta, so then Rixie's seven, out. you know? Yeah. 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 Like, I think, yeah. Min, you're like eight hours behind me, I think. No, he's it's he's actually. Yeah, um, yeah, he's seven hours. You're Because I'm five okay. hours behind. <sighs> so, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude. It's a bit of a ball lake, but we manage it every week somehow. But then, yeah, like, you know, like yeah. MVP for Cold One, he came through yes. and saved our fucking ass and cheeks. He just ended his stream so we could have his webcam on here. So guys, if you yeah, don't so please Cold follow him. Please, Tell him we'll be back, we'll back in like an hour and a half, and we're done. Yeah, what no, a beast, but, dude. Yeah. What a nice guy. Man. We're gonna have to hey. shout out Twitch.tv slash Cold One right now. You know, make up for the loss in viewers that he All was right, having. Chat. Who has that kind of facial hair in the chat? We got to know from a cold one. Who else is rocking that shit? My uncle has it. And he's a very, uh, you know what? It's a PG podcast, but you, you got one of those too, man. And it's. <laughs> what's it even, what's it called? What kind of, is it a goatee? It's a... Yeah, it's a goatee. A goatee. So what is it just <laughs> like clean on type. the side? Have you got, I, I like, got a baby. Yeah, it's clean on the sides, but it's like kind of grown the past few days. Like here, I just have to trim it off. I got a baby. But I'm so. very lazy <laughs> as an individual. I think it takes a very... I, I don't think I could pull that off, man. I think there's only a certain few people that could actually pull that off and look I, good with it. You know, Rakesy, I could see you with one of those um, lines. Yeah. You know, the little small lines no. they have? On the no, no, not the chin no. strap. Chin strap dude. Dude. Yeah. No, not the, the fucking chin strap, the man. Come on, face for a chin The strap, douchebag bro. chin strap. I, I absolutely <laughs> detest those beards. Man. That's not a beard. <laughs> Disgusting. That's an actual uh, freaking dude, like, chat facial hair. Just, like, yeah, are you going to... 1k likes on this video. You chin strap it up next vid? No, never. I'll make a bunch of alt accounts right now. Uh, uh, I'm 1k. Don't get me started. Fuck. I think this podcast is no. going to break huge sellout records. For, for, honestly. <laughs> I'm trying to get them likes, bro. Okay. Oh. I'd, do, I'd do it for charity, but I'd look like such a douche. Like I'd be embarrassed to go to the gym. I'd, I'd look like a complete <laughs> asshole. Like I just wouldn't want to do it, man. I'm being real. 
No, I'd no that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. I, I'd rather just have like a Hitler tash than I would a fucking chin strap. I'll be completely honest. We can honest. do that. <laughs> oh, oh, God. God. Yikes. Let's do Hitler tash. I don't know anybody would ever want that thing. That, that man has single handedly destroyed. <laughs> anybody having that kind of a style of mustache <laughs> dude like you can't you just can't do it you can't it's yeah dude hey, anymore imagine he has he it all to himself. the mario mustache you know Fuck me. yeah he has it all to himself unique only to him mm -hmm. um yeah, so true. we've gotten fucking off topic here so there's a couple things we're gonna cover probably start with some dead man mode stuff and then move on to crack the clue two which is just kind of phased yeah. runescape again uh, but some changes for Dead Man mode. Probably the biggest is that they took away the Ring of Suffering at the last minute, which has fucked everybody's plans up. <laughs> which is a Jagex move, indeed. Just saying. Yeah. It was good, man. Yeah. Can we zoom in a little bit on it? Bit. Um, not really. I can make it bigger. <laughs> <laughs> like, like you can wind it. I guess. Yeah. I can do that. I guess, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, already. Gonna, we're gonna read it anyways, man. Let's try to yeah, scuff okay. this up. Right, cool. Yeah, you're gonna read it. It's fine. Cole, so, do you play dead man mode or? Uh, if it didn't involve pissing the bed for seven days straight, I'd probably do it. But uh, I'm not a fan of like grinding on an account that just gets taken away after a week or a month. Yeah. No, I, it's I'm not the biggest fan. Are into that, to be honest. It, Nobody it, is. Yeah. Hey, Honestly, if it was like six hours of work to like you know play in the one v one tournament, sure, I'd do that but you literally have to grind for seven days straight 20 hours a day and that's like not enjoyable to me just have it taken away when you get barraged and chinned by a team yeah he's like well that's it. all gone mika fucking loves it he lives for that shit he's he's a masochist that's all i gotta say <laughs> he lives for that shit bro he just hides himself in a blanket just starts slaying dude oh, so man. a lot of people were really annoyed and i will pull that up in just a second but there's basically one change to this demo mood tournament which is there's no ring of sufferings I don't think it's a bad change. I agree with it because it is an item which can only be acquired by clans. If you solo and manage to get Monkey Madness 2 done in time, you might have like a couple hours before the clans come and just destroy you and you can't return. So I don't have a problem with it. I have a problem with the fact that this is the only change that they've implemented. Like, hmm. it, to me, well, it just looks like swapping. they don't care. You can swap now. Oh yeah, they, they brought back again. Again. That yeah. is a fat change that I, I mean, personally, I don't play dev M mode anymore. It's just too time consuming and not fun to stream at all, to be honest. So swappy makes the game more fun to watch because I'm going to be one of those guys just from the side watching all the videos. I'm down for it. But the way they released these updates was a little too uh, abrupt. A lot of people were angry because they had plans around Ring of Suffering and not swapping and now their plans are kind of fucked when the tournament's about like how far away is it i don't i don't know oh uh, like, yeah when is there? this uh the... should be like just about two weeks away or something two weeks I think. away so they had all this time and they release it now i mean i know a uh, solo mission was going for ring of suffering last time and those are some really entertaining videos i could only imagine his ass was going to do the same damn thing and now he can't do that yeah like yeah, what I mean, else are I mean, you supposed so to do bad. to make original content on dead man mode they got to yeah, you have to plan it out. That's the you, thing. You gotta tell. Like Dead Man Mode, it has always been the same and always will be if it stays like this. It's just it's a video every day from content creators who play it of, hey, look, I've just got eighty strength and sixty Slayer day one done. People day eat two. them up though. Yeah, I know. It's the same thing though, and like for some reason people enjoy it, which is fair I enough. Know I don't know how. Yeah, I enjoyed solo missions videos. They were different. You know, what they I mean? just want to see how but far people that, can get. I'll watch a different strategy in a YouTube video, but I, I just, I can't, you know, hey guys, Tutorial Island again, you know, just starting off, oh, doing some stuff, <laughs> fucking horrible, dude. Yeah, it's it's <sighs> always, awesome. I, I don't understand how people enjoy watching it at this point. I mean, and I don't understand how content creators do it. It's like, no, the same thing. It's always been the same thing. Well, that's the same thing with Iron Man, right? Sorry, right? Kind of. So, yeah, kind of, right. I suppose. But then it's, like, it's, uh, it's an ongoing thing. Right? When you start an Iron Man, it's an yeah. ongoing thing. But after like the 20th Iron Man series, like, oh, that guy just <laughs> got a Dragon Defender. Let me see what he's going to do next episode. Oh. He's got Barrow's Gloves now. Barrow's Gloves. <laughs> yeah, oh, what's that? Oh, thing. Fire Cape. 90% of right. Iron Man and Hardcores, they just rush Winter Todd and 99 Thieving. Yeah, they're like, oh, no, it's the no, best way to do it. And they want to skip all the monotonous crap. Like, you know, trying to grind TP. It's funny, I mean, me those... and Rakesy as content creators are still baffled at how people are, still enjoy content from RuneScape, even though it's repetitive. Yet we make content for RuneScape, so you think we know our audience by now. But 
Yeah. They love no, repetitive I, shit. Dude. I completely understand how people like RuneScape content. I just don't understand how Dead Man is still a popular thing. Like, I, I can watch RuneScape videos I don't know for days, man. I think... And I mean, I've been playing the game for over 15 years. Yeah. I don't know how long, but it, I've played this caters. for a lot of time. It caters oh, to... Oh, to the fight, I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's for the build-up, you know? It's like, uh, you know, you, go, you wait for the people to build up their shit. You know, no life for seven days. And then to see them die, you know? That's kind of like, oof. Release, Dude, you know, climax. Any other game that had a tournament for like $20,000 where it took you a week to build up your stats, to lose them all in a <laughs> tournament where you had to go through a multi-zone through clan. I know, and it's yeah, not one fucking not insane that. person would do that. Yeah. yeah, this game, people are That's like, That's why it's... people watch it. See, not many people play it, but There's many no people watch it. fucking reward suffer. for this like, shit. If it was changed where as soon as the final hour started, it just made everybody go into 1v1. There was no clown fiesta, like, you know, multi-zone, yeah, clans, garage, and chins. I'd play it. I, I would 100% go It'd for be it. be better. Be a lot better, and they could they could so easily do that as well. Like I at the moment, what is it? It's here. Yeah. So the bracket one, two hundred and fifty six players. So the final two hundred and fifty six players left get put in the one v one areas. But why don't they just do that from the beginning? Like that's my yeah. biggest thing with Dead Mammo tournament yeah. is like. So I would play it too, but I cannot be asked playing. But if you don't play twelve hours a day, and twelve hours is not very much for Dead Mammo tournament. If you don't put no. twelve hours a day in. Don't even bother. There's no point. Like exactly. you're wasting your time doing it. And then you're not gonna by a year. Yeah. It right. And then it's it's like whether you get into the actual single bracket fights or not is just fucking luck, dude. Like it's literally luck. Like you could say there's some skill involved, but Morty takes a lot of that skill out of it. They should just make it single the entire time. Like I'd play it if that was the case, but I can't be this bothered is... to play twelve hours a day Wait. for seven days and then just die in Morty to a clan. Like I really Wait, can't hey, be bothered. Hey, hey Rixie, Rixie, can you ra can you raise the desktop audio? I think we might need it. Yes, uh, I can. Readjust it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. There so <clears throat> the only way I could see content creators getting into the one v ones is last. I think last tourney, right? They snuck into a secret clan that also snuck into a different clan. <laughs> so they kind of <laughs> hid in a clan that hid in a clan. Damn. And they got into the singles. But now with the rune light and you could see your buddies, right? And you could see anyone who's not your buddy highlighted. I could I don't know. I don't know. If yeah. if you're not clan affiliated, you're not in because you're not gonna yeah. be able to hide. Once they yeah, see they, your they name pop out in a pile because everyone uses rune light. I yeah. was talking to Mika. He's like, Yeah, there's like no way I'm getting to the one V ones. I'm gonna grind it out, but just with that rune light finder, it's such an unfair advantage. You could just there goes like a hundred hours of work. Yeah, and, and there's other like clients as well that do kind of the same thing. And I see like other things as well from videos. Like there's tile markers that automatically pop up showing safe points from another player. There's like yep. a hotkey that like switches all your prayers for you, changes gear for you. That responds. We'll to probably your be seeing gear. that a lot in like, the multi area. <laughs> to be honest, like, what's the point playing the game anymore? That point, man. Oh my lord! Yeah, they need to they need to sort out third party. I didn't think we were going to talk about that, but yeah, you're right. It, like imagine. If in this Dead Mambo tournament, like one of the finalists is clearly got like something which is changing his prayers, specking for him. To be fair, if you can use it, I wouldn't blame you because they clearly have no control over it. And yeah, that completely like it, it destroys the um, what's the what's the word? The I'm point. Like, fun. <laughs> it, well, yeah, it destroys the fun for everybody, <laughs> the integrity of the entire tournament. Yeah, yeah. And like, if yeah. somebody wins because they have one of those clients or those add-ons, like, I don't even know what to fucking say at that point. That's just screwed up. Like, they need yeah, something. Did. But how are they yeah, going to? So, what's the top thirty-two going to look like at that point? Thirty-two people using it, and then it's just whoever gets luckier wins. Yeah, it just comes down to RNG or whoever's got the yeah. most stats. Well, a mixture of the two. Whoever's got more myth seeds, you know. Um, nah, yeah. I, I don't think they're going to use it in the 1v1s. Maybe. Maybe if they're fucking dumb. But I don't know if they're going to get caught. But I think they're going to use it in the multi-zones. Because imagine how could you catch someone using it in the multi-zones. And you're just deflecting all this random damage with those perflicks. You don't even know what's going on. Yeah. Like, I mean, that would make sense. I think a lot of people will use it coming up in the multi-zones. I just hope that... I'm hoping... The Jagex are being, you know, catch us on. They're being, they're being quiet and sly about this. They're gonna let people do it, and then those people are gonna get disqualified if they like even get close. They should to the get finals. shamed on Twitter and fucking. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> you know, it's it Take sucks though because that's gonna disrupt the the whole competitive flow. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 
Because, like, what if it's, like, oh, you're on, like, the last, I don't know, the, what, 56 people, whatever. And then, like, half of them goes because, I'm sorry, we discovered you cheating using your third-party client. And then it's just, like, half the fight's gone, you know? That's right? probably how they do it. Yeah, I don't think right. it destroys like, anything. If anything, it fixes it. No, kind of. I mean, like, because you can set an example, but it would be like people could also say, oh, man, Jaggers don't even have their shit straight. And they have to, like, DQ people in those spots, <laughs> you know, just to fucking. Yeah. No, like, it's, it's like, it's yeah. just, you know, it's. The it's, scary it's, it's thing, a, though, about yeah. it is that they're not going to disqualify them until the tournament's over because that's when they find it out. So if you lost to somebody using auto hockey, you're not going to be slapped back in the tournament. You're just gone. Right. And they make it to the final it's over. yeah no it's not a good it's just not a good competitive tournament when you have to like change out change things after the fact you know like oh yeah. actually the person that won first place he's disqualified second place yeah he's disqualified too all right third place all right I, I don't think he's cheating so he, he gets rollins auto clicking give the money to yeah. charity like how many times does that fucking happen yeah, it's, it's, it's just like weird dude what do you guys hundred thousand dollar event yeah what do you guys think about the fact that they they really haven't made many changes. So what? You can swap now, and you're not allowed to. Oh, again? What what, what? what do you think? Like Jagex's mindset and stance on their Mahmoud is at this point. I wish we knew. They had an RG idea, but it wasn't finalized. About. They didn't know how yeah. to present it, so they could just kind of copped out and just did this one change for now. Yeah. Like I feel I like th they are working on something, but it's not ready, and they don't want to present it until it's ready, in case it like comes out the wrong way or it just goes the wrong way because it's not yeah. a finished idea, you know. Yeah, I think they're hugging onto a dream where they're going to become an esport, <clears throat> but That's no one in their idea. right fucking mind would want to do this as an esport. No one could live off this. No one could practice for it. And there's no way to fucking train for the multi zone unless you're kissing somebody's ass in a clan. All right. And there's no way someone would want to dedicate their life because people dedicate their life to esports. Right. They got houses. They got fucking money, cars, some fat ass chicks. You ain't getting this from fucking RuneScape right here, all right? You yeah, no, nah, yeah, like... Did you say some yeah. fat-ass chicks? <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen yeah, those girls on Facebook? No, I've not. I've not seen, man. I've not seen. Is it good? They got... <laughs> Is it good? <laughs> oh, dude. I was... Dude, uh -huh. I was with... Um, I was at TwitchCon. Last time getting the tickets, I ran into Mito, Phase Mito. Oh, no, no. Yeah, no, that was Phase Mito. And he was high as fuck. Like, dude, the blunts are like $30. I'm so high. I'm like, Jesus Christ, how do you, first off, afford a blunt? All right, that's a lot. And then he's just got like three women just chilling, right? And he's not like the biggest Faze member. He's a cool ass guy, but this man's already as esports, bro. Esports and editing. I don't see no. I don't see Wooks just like you know, fucking woman. <laughs> woman. Nah, dude. Yo, he just holds his computers, bro. Man, Wooks probably. You had to, dude. It. You had to see yeah, Rice Cup at RuneFest, man. He had Ooh. all the bitches, he's, man. He's, <laughs> he's, he's a lolly con, dude. Uh, uh, they like disclaimer: the Rake C was on on some drugs for his legs, so he didn't. <laughs> and, <laughs> I can confirm this. He, I was one of the bitches. He didn't see straight. He didn't see you straight. <laughs> yeah, Rake C, you want to tell? I did about, have some um... occasional, you know, men. Come up and say a few, you know, positive things. But that's I like the it. way you do Inferno. Like, <laughs> <laughs> they, they you want to tell they, about your, they, uh, your the fucking Runefest story there? Uh, uh, right now. Dude, <clears throat> last oh Runefest, <laughs> I met a cold one. Unfortunately, I don't really remember too much of it. And I also met Rice, Rice Cab. I yeah. just had a knee operation like a week ago, and I was highly medicated, and I was. I was on cloud nine, dude. I was on morphine. I was fucked <laughs> out of my head, like actually gone. Like it was really bad because I had like people come up to me and be like, hey man, I really like your videos. And I just, I was so out of it. I could tell that it was like not natural. And like, I, I remember there was this one guy in particular and like after we spoke, I like went after him, hobbled after him. I was like, look man, I'm like, I'm really, really sorry if I've been like, a bit away in the clouds during this conversation. I was like, but I'm high as fuck right now. It's really nice to meet you. I just can't be having this conversation right now. Cause I was in so much pain, dude. It was horrible. Yeah. Were, were their voices slowed down when they're like, I just, do you, know, do, you know when do you know when you're like looking at somebody and like you're listening to them and all of a sudden you stop, Stop hearing stuff. That's the best yeah, way to describe yeah. it. I just, it just wasn't what they were I mean, saying. Just yeah. Like, like your mind is extra heavy, dude. Just yeah. like, it was just thinking your mind. That's all you could do. It was Rice bad. has done morphine too, huh? No. <laughs> I mean, I've been high uh, at times, you know. So, <laughs> I don't know. If you ever had uh, like an edible, that's probably the closest you could get to understanding what Rakesy's coming from. Like, if you ever had like you know a brownie yeah, or like a, I had, or I had a bit of some.
some of that edible Those brownies, before. dude. Oh my lord! I, when yeah. I first had my edible, man, I kept uh. I kept getting scared. I was gonna bite my tongue off. So every, every <laughs> second, I ah ah, and I just feel my tongue. <laughs> it was the worst. I just uh, yeah. could not, and I no, couldn't feel my teeth. I'm yeah, like, yeah. Body high is uncomfortable, bro. Mm -hmm. Body high is uncomfortable. Like I feel out a lot. This day, I'm crotch. still checking up my tongue's there. Like, <laughs> I'm not even high right now, and I'm still paranoid. Do you guys yeah. think there's a big difference between, say, smoking a blunt, smoking marijuana, and then taking like? An edible version of it, oh, like a brownie. Yes, one hundred percent. There is all I've, of it. It's, I've never had yeah, it an goes, edible. That, that goes to your bloodstream faster. That shit is like when you eat it. So. Ah, okay. I mean, it takes like thirty had... minutes to kick and everything. Don't but think about your tongue. It's a much different edible. Yeah. Okay, have a good time. Um, I just know. I mean, I've, I've been to Amsterdam yeah. a few times, but we were never able to get edibles. They were always sold out. And oh, like, but my friends, they went the step further. They got magic, not magic mushrooms. They're like magic truffles. And I just remember um, one of my friends went for one that was called like the Dragon Slayer. And <laughs> it was like the second highest intensity of truffle they oh. did. And then my oh, other look at the Lord. magic truffle, dude. First off, what oh, the fuck yeah. is the magic truffle? You never had a truffle dude. before? You know <laughs> what truffle is? Truffle. Like a shroom? It, the fuck? It's, a, it's Not related really. to the mushroom, right? Like <laughs> the same fungi. Am I correct in saying that? Uh, I mean, they're kind of like. Right, on different, one. I guess, but yeah. I like it. I, I don't yeah. know so much about it either, but I, yeah, you just, find that shit on the ground. I remember my friend who had the Dragon Slayer one. He had the worst trip I've ever seen, and he this was like three years ago, and even to this day, he tells me like he still trips occasionally from <laughs> that from trip. It. Yeah, residual. Oh my really? God. But like to be fair, mm. the truffles he bought, my other friend bought some stronger ones, and the ones the Dragon Slayer ones were like moldy, man. Like, they were at a date or oh. some shit. I don't know. They were covered oh, in mud. God. They were nasty. But I just remember, oh, I, it God. was so funny because he was having the worst trip ever. And then my other friend was having a great trip. But because he was having <laughs> such a bad one, he brought my other friend into the bad trip with him. And it was the funniest <laughs> oh, no. fucking thing ever. Uh... And we were just all in this hostel together. And they were tripping fucking balls. And we were just like, oh, my God. <laughs> it was so fucking funny. It was oh, dude. Oh, yeah. Before we get back in the dead end mode, man, the only time <laughs> I, I've never had the mushrooms, but I was at a renaissance fair and it was late and we're at the campfire. We're camping out with like these fucking people dressed as barbarians and shit. Uh, so it was already getting weird. We're tossed from uh, there's a little liquor store and stuff. And this guy comes out with like a skull scepter like you see in RuneScape wearing like a fucking hooded priest fucking gown. He just hobbles real close. Hey, you want to buy some shrooms? And I'm looking at my friend like <laughs> all fucked up. Like, do we want to buy some shrooms? <laughs> He's like, I don't got any change right now. Do you take a 20? And he goes, yeah, let me grab it. And he just goes off into the woods and never comes back. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, that guy came straight from Skyrim, bro. Because we we're just going to fuck what we're going to buy any. But that guy, was just, he just left. Like, there was nothing. Just he wanted. vanished. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's like, oh, enough dude. with the shroom stories. That show so is they... magical and juice. <laughs> I like these yeah. stories, though. I love so, that, yeah. I'll save mine for another time. Oh, do you have one? Oh, no, tell us. Please. Uh, tell no, us. You might as well while we're on here. Yeah, yeah I mean, a few. Like, the first time I ever had them was, like, back when I was 19. And that was my first year at uni. And my roommate, like, you know, picks them up. He's like, hey, we're going to try them out. You want to join us? I'm like, fuck yeah, let's try them out. So one of our boys, like, you're supposed to take only, like, an eighth or half an eighth of shrooms. He took a full quarter. Because <laughs> he's done it a few times, like, you know, let's, like, you know, up he's the a, ante a little he's bit. He's a veteran, you know. He's let's take veteran. it to the next level. <laughs> so we're walking around, we're walking around Hofstra University. Like, you know, just up on the northern end of campus, like, where it's all the buildings, like, a bunch of wooded area. And my boy's saying, we got to walk around for this, we can't be sitting inside. Oh, God. Our boy that took That's the quarter eventually just, like, deviates from the group. We have no idea where he is. And it was like, yo, anybody seen Chris anywhere? <laughs> like, No. Like meanwhile, I see my like roommate just like you know laying on top of a lion statue, just laughing his ass <laughs> off. <laughs> so we're like kind of like just disregard it completely. But two of our other boys like go out to go find him. Apparently, he went onto like Hempstead Turnpike. He was like walking between the campus, and he like took out his wallet and started like chucking shit out of it. He was like, getting attacked. <laughs> and we were like, we're all tripping balls. We get back to like our dorm room like hours later. We hear about the story, and like he, they spent like an hour trying to like grab his shit back off the turnpike and like that's not exactly like a good area of town where the university is like the uni is but like the highway and like the surrounding area isn't so you can imagine like you know one o'clock in the morning just being tripping on balls he's like you know get mugged or get stabbed at any time or something like that and they I come back like we got most of the shit you. back 
fucking throwing shit out of your wallet. I'd God be damn, dude. He told the next day he thought he was getting attacked by goats, so he just like you know just started grabbing <laughs> shit out of his pocket and just like you know trying to protect himself. I'm like, what kind what? of fucking trip dude, are you take on? Take my credit card, please. Dude, goats, yeah. goats, fuck you up, man. Goats yeah, they built Rams, bro. Rams. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the rest of us, we had an amazing trip. Like it was great. We had some pizza too. Like you know, back at the student center, it was fantastic. God damn, but, bro. Yeah, don't, just, just don't, don't go out. I just do weed, but yeah, yeah. I, I just don't take too much. I can't take truffles. I can't take mushrooms because I'm allergic to mushrooms. So like, oh, not, ooh, not only would soul. I have an allergic reaction, but I'd also be tripping at the same time. So that's <laughs> it's a just face is just blown you just up. Really have a bad trip. Uh, you just <laughs> yeah, 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 panic attack, dude. Okay. Yeah, I All probably right, well. would, man. Can you imagine, like, not only have an allergic reaction and not being able to breathe, but on top of that, tripping balls <laughs> at the same time. Yeah, like I'm not. It's like, am I scared or am I excited? I can't tell. That's basically all right. Podcast. Realized. I hope you enjoyed that segment of drugs with the OSRS podcast. Yeah, there. please don't demonetize YouTube. Please <laughs> don't, please. don't do Holy drugs, kids. But there's actually some changes in seasonal as well. So they added okay. um, swapping the seasonal right, which is gonna make. Let's just say there'd be some real strong people day one. All right, because people put like 30, 50, 100 mil down day one and just and get and the best bill. supplies. And also something we haven't seen in a while, Barrow's coming to the game after one week. Okay. So I'm excited to watch videos uh, from Barrow's. I wouldn't want to play, but I'm yeah, excited to watch. But Ancients doesn't come in until the second week. So people want... Which is going to be weird because you're not going to be able to hit any regular magics mm. on fucking Barrow's, dude. No. Oh. I mean, not in Carol's. That's for sure, but that on Torag's easy, easy splash. Yeah, we well, like, used to be everything they have. Though. I mean, uh, Torag's will be really weak to magic. If they use Are them. they still adding the um the really overpowered items like the Vesta and stuff? Or yeah, those are in there, <sighs> dude. There's gonna be a build like on week Vesta one. Vesta Lost or Pure. <laughs> yeah, seriously, you're not gonna be able to kill him. He's just gonna max you through prayer. Fuck playing that. Uh, me and Mika gonna hit up the Dark Wizards again. Get a bunch of dislikes. It's gonna be sweet. <laughs> but, but dude, fuck, yeah. fuck playing that man. Oh my god, you get slammed if you're not. Yeah. A Wait, Colin, did you play seasonal? Right, uh, you uh, were camped in the shamans. Shits and giggles. Yeah, 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 we locked down lizard and shamans like day one and day two. That's kind of funny. Yeah, we didn't get That's a warhammer. Awesome. We got a ton of alka balls. We were able to get PK gear really, really quickly. It was phen- phenomenal. It was literally six of us just ragging it with a bone crossbow because we were capped day one. And you have to get the gear to get in there. You have to get 100% Shazy in favor. So, like, we had to spend melee stats and, like, pray for, like, like, all the guards you need to do to get the armor. It was a pain. It was, like, an hour grind just to even get into the canyon. Like, once we get 100%. Uh... But it was worth it, man. But there was, like, a few people that had the same idea as us. So, day two, like, you know, after a group got off, I'm like, you know, mm-hmm. I'll stay here for, like, an extra hour, maybe get some extra money. Like, you know, my other buddy's got, like, you know, most of the stuff sitting in Grand Exchange. I won't lose too much. So a group of three people come down and kill me. So I'm like, well, that fuck sucks. I lost like 150k. Next day we go down there and we find them. We kill all three of them. We like just rob them for their bank keys. That's always the best part about Dead Man Mode. Yeah. I, we should do like a day one, because I'm not going to play probably for a week, but probably like a day one mass where you just get everyone hooked up with bone crossbows and go fuck people. Because <laughs> that's the only fun I have anymore. It's just that newbie ass day one where you're like killing people fire strike and... Uh, bone crossbows and stuff yeah yeah that was fun. <clears throat> no definitely like my best seasonal the funnest seasonal i ever had was <clears throat> get the 10k from the strongholds while you're doing that attack people level up i went to mage bank and by the time i got to mage bank i was like so much higher level than everyone else just camped people that came into the mage bank to buy runes killed them all yeah. i had so <laughs> many runes. i was like rank one mage by like 20k xp or something like in the first <laughs> yes. hour that's what we should do. We should just camp the mage rune area. And so what they tell you, and they just get boned right in the face, dude. Yeah, and but if, never if you stream it, there will be a clan that snipes you, and they're all logged in inside the cave. And then, like, if there's any confusion, your team will just get wiped. Because I've seen it happen. So yeah, we all just fun. die. I've been rocking 80 people CCs at revs. I, <clears> I don't know how many I'm going to be able to get, though, during, I don't know, the morning time. That's the only thing. But, oh, my God, it'd be so fun just to... <sighs> Just mass people in there, man. Oh, dude. It'll be good. But yeah, on the um, <laughs> one take kill people. On the stage for the tournament, they have MMORPG, Curtis, Fool's Justice. Uh I'm pretty sure he's solo won. again. Yeah, solo missions there. That's awesome. I don't think Fool's won, did he? No. I think he won the one before the last. Yeah, I'm he got sure. wrecked in multi. 
Last I remember he got red. Last, last tourney he did, but the tourney before that, I'm pretty sure he was the winner. I'm pretty Ooh. certain. Was he? I'm not uh, I don't know. But I think he was. I don't want to say no one. because he owns fools, I guess, and I want to get ragged. So don't hurt me, dude. I just I don't remember. <laughs> But yeah, they got. Yeah, Sam there's just too many winners to know. They got manked, of course. They have manked. They got Sykes. Always. Uh, I think Sykes from America. Sykes a damn good Brit, isn't he? Yeah, he is. he's a pure Brit. Is he American he... or is he from the UK? UK. Probably. They, they would not fly in an American anything. All right. Yeah, Especially when it's not known. Simple. And then they got skill specs as well. Oh but, um, yeah, they should give they got skill specs Mr. for high hands. breakable breakable keyboard. Uh -huh. I'm just saying. A it bendable would, keyboard. Just something, you know, no, just so he can break it when he loses, you know, just to do uh -huh. his little spiel, and then he gets like a shit ton of views on Twitch for RuneScape. So you give, him a, need... so you give him a flexi keyboard, like you get the flexi oh, rulers, like, you remember those? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, those bendable ones. <laughs> oh, man, that'd be amazing. Sound a bit tinfoil hatty, but I think I know the reason he does that. Like, he might have a history of playing piano when he was younger, because that's actually the posture you have to hold your hands while you play a piano. Ooh. So that's Interesting like, backstory. So or just saying, not all his rage. It's just a guess. guess. Like I don't know him personally, but that's just my guess. Dude, I'll ask the him. Mozart. When I see the Mozart. The Mozart. When I see him next, I'll ask. That's quite interesting. But yeah, it is. I like that. I, I, Can you play the piano? I had a message dropped to me asking if I wanted to play in this tourney and play on stage, and I was just like, I'm not qualified. But the real reason is because I have no interest in playing this game mode while it is the way it currently is. I don't want to promote it. I really don't. I don't enjoy yeah. it. Uh, I don't want to pretend that I'm enjoying it when I'm clearly not. I have no interest in playing this. They need to make some big changes, and if they make it fun and they do some good things, then I will definitely return to it. But the way it is right now, I just I have lost interest. Sadly, it is sad because demo mode has so much potential. And it could be really good, but I just don't think they've taken it seriously enough. To, they've not done yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. There's just the the whole multi thing. I feel like it's. Is probably one of the big, big underlying yeah. problems. For me, that's if it. Gonna, the multi yeah. thing's like the big issue. Like, if they made it single for the entire final hour, I would play 100%. But I just don't like the multi part. Yeah, because it's if like. If they thrown an event, they would have more plans, you know? Because yeah. they, they try to hype up that event, and it, I don't know. I, I just feel yeah, like no, so much, it, so it, I just don't better. think chinning people and just killing them with your group is like really fair. You know what I mean? Yeah. I did enjoy when they had the heat markers on the map showing the clans and and like the wilderness. I enjoyed that part. That, that was, was kind of cool. cool. But I mean, that's still overall. I don't like the multi part. You know, Other than yeah. that, Dead Man Mode's really made me understand something. It's just click. So I get a lot of YouTube comments that are like, "Don't even play the game anymore. Wouldn't waste my time playing the game." But I enjoy watching others play it. Yeah. And like that makes me think of Dead Man Mode because I do enjoy watching it. But my God, I do not want to have to play it. You know, I feel you. Yeah, I feel you there. But yeah, uh, he... Tor Vesta was pretty unhappy regarding the. Uh, you know he's change. still gonna play. You know he's still. Uh, he's just, you know he's, he's gonna, gonna, gonna make. He's just he has to. Bro, for the so video. he can title his video. Hey, he made it to the stage again. If I can. <laughs> Do we all know, bro? I uh, I hope Mate goes in. I don't think Mate last time he got kicked out pretty early. And he used to be the underdog of Dead Man Mode, so I'd really like to see that shine again, you know? Everyone's just chanting, manked, manked, like the wooks of Dead Man Mode. Yeah, you know, so he is. He... He, he's phenomenal, though. I mean, he did win PvP All-Stars and didn't lose a single. Uh, and like, if it was yeah, singles match, now. like, if it was always singles, he'd probably make it really far. I mean, yo, I, I could see that happening, though. I mean, come on, bro. Of course Mank's gonna win. Yeah, I wouldn't mind the whole entire final hour being singles. Like, just as soon as the final hour hits, take the one thousand or people that are there, put them into the one v one stage. Mm -hmm. They really need to start like moving towards that, honestly. Yeah, because I think like, first inventory are... you can stack bruise and whatever, kind of like it is now. Like, you yeah, know, just like have personally, I'm just good. tired of seeing big one group just dominating another group. How would you guys like, feel, Raja, you know, if uh, in so there's still a multi part, but before you get to the multi part, if you get like five kills, right, before the multi part even happens, you're automatically teleporting the 1v1s. I really like that. That could be farmed. That That's could be farmed great. easily. Just kill five year olds. Yeah, because then. Oh, what? <laughs> but then you get. Um, uh, you just have people who play alone, 
actually have a reason why to go out and be aggressive. I remember Bodie was playing. It was so fun to watch him just go slam people and drain. Yeah, them and dude. Stuff. That yeah, should sure. be the spirit of dead man mode, right? Slamming ass. So if that was the main priority, to slam ass anytime you could, after five kills, 1v1, boom, you're in. Be dope. Yeah. I actually, kind of like that. If it's all singles and you kill five people, you're in. I like that idea. That'd be dope. I, I, yeah. do, I do like that idea. That's actually really good. I like that. Yeah, one. yeah. And if you manage to survive because all of it, if you're left over, I think over. the hardest part uh, is how to dwindle down the masses, right? Mm -hmm. So that would kill two birds with one stone. You, you would get the people that can kill, you know, effectively, and you get the noobs the out of the way. Yeah, exactly. And you get the lower skilled players like me out of the way. Easy. <laughs> yeah, and then you'd have a few people that would survive, and just like by default, like let's say there's only one person left or something. Actually, no, they'd have to fight it out too. Yeah, like, they would have to person, you get yeah, and the clan would kill the weaker clan not. members too, so you'd have less of those clan members. I mean, all in all, people could obviously get around it with a loophole, but over overall, you're gonna have less people in the game just getting slammed. You know? Yeah, you know, and just yeah. Le it's just you know less people chaining each other. Like uh, I'm tired of that shit, honestly, because that shit's just like. Whoever has the big baby, baby. fix the game. Yeah, I, I, yeah I'm pretty much I'm done talking about that. My mode, I feel like we're being a dead horse here. We have this yeah. every single time there's Literally. a tournament, we have this exact conversation, <laughs> nothing changes. So, moving on, yeah, I mean, except some suggestions. That's, that's, true, that's true. Okay, so boys, they, yeah. crack the clue week two. I don't know what's going on here. I yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I have no idea. I'm Cold excited. But... Cap, you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to lead the way on this one. Me, <laughs> me and Mint have no I mean, idea. Kind of. Like... I know a little bit. Okay. Right. Well, I because, think you can introduce it up here. I is, feel like um, Colin's introducing good. Yeah, yeah I didn't participate in like either of them, but like I get the idea of what's going on with this one. Like each one, you needed a specific item in your inventory to dig up the item. So the first one I remember, you needed an empty okay. pie dish. And the clue is, I need a. I found a round number to eat out of. Like you know, pie is a round number because it's a pie dish. It's a nasty pun. <laughs> and you yeah, also see all these numbers pie. like dotted across the board. And Wooks actually made like a grid showing the full numerical of pie. And he managed to line up all the numbers like in a grid. So I'm assuming that has to do with the final answer or something like that. Now, but, I just gotta say that if RuneScape can come up with such an elaborate scheme here, why can't they fix the goddamn servers? I mean, look at this. Oh, it's like dude. the Vinci Code shit. <laughs> come on, man. Fix no, that's Wooks, server. though. That's Wooks. Let's try, to yeah. stay, let's try to stay on track for one subject. All right. <laughs> yeah. But no, uh, I mean, but... yeah, this, I like this. See, I don't, I'm not smart <clears> enough <throat> to figure out Crack the Clue. I let others do it for me and then just like reap the rewards from their success. But. To me, it just reminds me of like Easter eggs in video games. And I love the fact that RuneScape has that. I really like I it. I like that a lot too. Dang. And now I've got a second one. Yeah, yeah this is the second one. Uh, well, so so anyways, um, with Crack the Clue, they give you four clues because each clue has one outfit. So last time they did it, it was, you know, four weeks, one clue each. And uh, the first three weeks was super easy to solve. Uh, well, you know, relative to the amount of times th that it took. I think the first three took like pretty much only a few days, right? To knock out, was it? It, was, it wasn't like too yeah, long. Yeah, the just, first I think the last, was easy. Yeah, and then the last part. The last part was hard because the helmet. That, the last part, Wooks couldn't figure it out. And like nobody could figure it out for a long time. So like it was, it, it, people were just trying to figure shit out for like weeks. And I think it took like maybe a, over a month, right? Well, it took yeah, over because, a year for it to get solved. Yeah, even over a year. Yeah, it took a long time because it was yeah. it was out. Yeah, the last piece, it, the helmet. Apparently, it took one, twelve months. Um, twelve months yo, to complete the first one. That's crazy. Because before yeah. we're talking about this off stream or sorry off uh, podcast, Cold One's actually explaining the first one and how they solved it. And I know there's probably a lot of people in here that might have forgot or just don't know. So could you explain how they solved the full? Uh, first crack the clue. Yeah, so if you're able to full of images, it helps. It's not necessary for the first crack the clue, but all of them had like circles with lines to them, like little thetas, and they all appeared on some part of the clue. So each one had an X on it, showing you where to dig up a piece of the like raid walled gear, like the clue hunter gear, or the winter talk gear, whatever the hell you want to call it. And the only thing that the community was able to figure out about the final clue is the yellow lines that appear on it. And Wooks put them together and like just put them around the map and found it was actually the island in the wilderness, like by lava dragons. And it had nature runes on it. So he assumed like, you know, nature room was important. So I remember there's also like some dots on it. Like when you put all of them together, it spelled like, you know, 
five west, ten north, or something like that. And that had to do with like you know where you had to walk from the final step to get to it. But the other, it, I have to like think here. So I remember Mon Mac Hay revealed a very big hint at the year anniversary of Crack of the Clue. Hey, hey and Rick, so you can open up the the link for the first Crack the Clue map. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the one to reference the data's on them. This, yeah, these are the old maps for yeah. For the so this is what one. they were given when it first mm-hmm. came out. And this is all they were given? Just this map? Yeah, that's all that was given, just those four maps. Okay, that's intriguing. Mm-hmm. So the X was just plain and simple. This is where you <laughs> dug up the item. And the yellow lines is what made the outline of the island in the wilderness where the nature runes were. So that's all the community figured out, really, that was in the right direction, aside from the five west, ten north thing. If you see the dots that aren't supposed to be there on each clue map, yeah, it's on the top of that one. So if you combine them all together, it spells five west ten and something like that. That's awesome. But everyone like thought it meant like you know five waters ten nature runes. Like everyone was just going down a bunch of rabbit holes trying to solve it. <laughs> and like I tried to get involved and I gave up after like two hours. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> hell with this. Now yeah, if you think it looks to it, right? Mm-hmm. If you think it's hard to solve that, it's even harder to make that. And that's why I kind of brought like the server thing mm-hmm. of the joke because this is some insane i wouldn't expect it coming from runescape where most of the clue scrolls are like oh yeah speak to the old man 28 you know what i mean then we got this crazy ass uh da vinci ass puzzle going on which i'm not even sure if they can complete the second one i wonder how long it's going to take them because they're it's, 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 it looks like three hours it's like so wooks at the moment like wooks is doing all this right now so mm-hmm. that's kind of nutty but like from what I've seen from his his streams, like he's just walking around RuneScape, digging in like every other square on the map with random ass items in his inventory. Huh. Like this takes a long time to figure out, you know, like yeah. a really yeah. long time. It took a year to figure out the first one, and most of us have the hunter gear now, or whatever. What's this armor called? The clue Rival. hunter outfit. Clue hunter. I think. That's the one. Yeah. Yeah. And like it's crazy to think that people just like walked around for a year digging in random spots and eventually they were able to get the entire set. Like that boggles my mind. Actually insane. Especially for an armor set that is uh questionably useless unless you want to use it winter todd, but Yeah, that's literally just all the premier used for. <laughs> rag winter todd gear. Don't talk smack about it. <laughs> <laughs> dude i got on my hardcore man i got my nine fire making with it so yeah. <clears throat> it just I makes don't. me want to love runescape more though is that they <laughs> kind of combine these into the game it gives not like the whole player base something to look forward to but i know definitely there's a lot of people yeah who look forward a lot to of people these. look forward to it being solved they're not going to be a part of the solving but a lot they of people like it. to just know about the process yeah, exactly. of solving kind of like those um because it's like a critical thinking except you don't have to do it in your brain other people yeah i think that's why people like exactly. the area locked um iron man right because it's critical thinking in a small area you don't want to do the work or do the research but when someone does it for you you're like hey let me get that information and i'm like, like oh that's kind of right here i, I could have thought that one too right <laughs> <laughs> yeah i could have totally done that uh no, totally <laughs> basically but yeah, yeah. They, they've only done uh the first week so far for back to i think second week just came out and wooks figured it out with yeah, the it was solved within like less than an hour okay and yeah, so what was the so... first thing that they unlocked like what they it was just armor pieces that's it it's not What's like it's yeah pieces? uh rex if you go back to the crack the clue one you scroll down where the i did see this so these Two items. That's the first week. KBD yeah. boots? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's the first item. <laughs> Wait, which is one? Is that the, a hat? The boots or or those gloves? gloves? It looks like oh, those are gloves. You get both of them, I think. You get oh. both the boots and the gloves. Oh, All right, so, so the weakest. Boo. Yeah. So second week's already solved, so that means week three and four is up for grass. I so, mean... Yeah, that's what Wooks is trying to solve, too. It took a He's, like, year. trying to brute force the answers. That's great. Oh it, wait, it he's trying to find it all the way now without even without the new clue. Yeah, that's why he's digging in random areas with a bunch of random oh, okay. junk in his inventory. He's trying to solve it early. He said he's trying to solve it early, dude. Or, Crazy. Yeah, they said all the answers are in the free to play area, so that really narrows uh, it down. For that's him. gonna nah. That's that's gonna be limited then, man. I feel like well, it's limited, but area, look at that because there's know, numbers but... on the clue page, mate. So. 
it, it's more in yeah. depth. It should Let's be harder to solve. If Wooks didn't exist, I bet people will still be pondering it because no one's going to fucking look at the pie, right? 3.14, and that's it. That's all I know, right? Who the fuck knows the rest of that shit? Hmm. Wooks didn't exist. Like three, one, four, one, five, nine, I, okay. as far like, as I get. To be, like, I'll be disappointed if the last part of this clue is found within, like, a, a week, you know? Because, like, last time, it took a year for the last part. So... Yeah, That's because it was uh, slightly more cryptic. It seems like the final part, like, has to do with the number of pi, and Wux has already kind of figured that out, so it looks like it's going to piece together and make something. Uh, like, the man. last one had to do with, like, the circles, and nobody knew how to use them correctly. And, yeah, like, no, that's what made it together. great, because it was yeah. so obscure that, like, it's just, it was hard to figure out what it meant. That's, that's what was made it so great. Yeah, the thing so is, the answer was so something. simple, but no one knew it. No one could figure it out for some reason, yet it was just, like, the simplest It was idea. so obscure. It was just, yeah, exactly. I, I hope we get something obscure for the last one, too. So that mm-hmm. way, like, it all, like, you know, it still takes them months or something to solve, because that would be nice. Do we know what the armor set does? Like, does it have, like, a special perk to it, or no. do we not know? It's fire real black. cosmetic. It's... Yeah, fire Wait. cosmetic. Oh, really? <laughs> it might be, like, iron armor, but, like, slightly heavier or slightly lighter. Who knows? I, I don't mean, think it really has any uses. Dude, that's kind of cool, man. You could use that on a pure if you wanted to, if you wanted to look good. What's that That armor, that corrupt armor? I can't even remember how you got that. Do you remember the purple corrupt armor? I know what it is. I don't know where to get it from, though. Yeah, um... I can't even remember. I used to yeah, have it, though, on my pure. Do you know what I mean, Min? Are you talking about yeah. corrupt dragon? No, 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 it's it's no the purple armor. Easter, the purple it was armor. Easter okay, egg. no, I know what you're talking about. I thought you were talking about like some other yeah, shit. Though, yeah, yeah, it was like, the Easter is it egg. Uh, it armor. is crap. Yeah. I, I never knew the, the name of that shit. Yeah, this stuff. Yeah, there. you just had to bring certain things, and then you talk to people, and then you get it. That was it. So that's kind of like was, a mini crack the clue, and it's yeah, it's like an Easter egg, it's like a little bit of an Easter egg. What was it for? Like, is, what was this for? Was it for an event, or did they just randomly put it in? Uh, Thanos armor, dude. Probably it was like right promotion here. for. Uh, no, I don't think it was really promotion, but it coincided with an update. I just don't remember what it was. Just because it was like, it fell, you know, fell off popularity really fast. Yeah. Just because it was like. To be fair, it looks really sick with like, if you had this with an infernal cape, it would look sick on a one defense. I mean, with a fire cape. If you have an really infernal cool. cape on a one defense, you're looking sick, all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, true. Tr- that's true. You don't really need anything with that infernal cape on a You'd one defense. You'd be butt naked huh. and still brag. Yeah. Yep. And don't spoil my next projects, please. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think we covered the Crack the Clue stuff well, pretty good. I got We're anticipating it. some good ones. Now, yeah. this is also a viewer interaction. interaction. Oh. So, do you think this is going to be solved faster than last year? Because it is only for F2P, right? Yeah, you can't probably. go outside That's of that. So, guess. it seems like Bryce did Eventually. say it was very limited. Yes. That you don't really need a huge insight to solve some of this shit. You can actually just uh, barge through it if you uh, just bring a couple items that you think are near. Because F2P items compared to P2P items is like, you know, Gen 1 Pokemon to all the Pokemon that are out now. Yeah, it's, yeah it's basically. Insane. So I feel like, I don't know, they really have to be encrypted with this one in order them to solve it slower than a year. I've- yeah. It, so is this going to be accessible to free to play players? Is, I believe yeah. so. Okay, so that's cool. I guess that's just probably got like, something to do with RuneScape Mobile yeah, coming out. Yeah, I expect it does. Yeah, I, I think promotional. This, it, just because it's free to play and just going off that alone, it's a lot of a smaller area. So yeah, I'd say this is going to get cracked a lot faster. And people mm-hmm. like like obviously Wooks has paid a lot of attention to the first crack the clue. So there may be a pattern of how they've done certain things. I don't know. I, I think this would be cracked in well under a year. This is going to be faster than the one. But who knows? Yeah, who knows? yeah, pretty pretty sure. You can. I'm excited it. to see what happens. It's pretty... I mean, I didn't keep up the date with the last one, but I know people really hyped about it, and I saw we was kind of working on it. I was a little I was like, oh, that's kind of impressive, and I kept slapping ass, but... Now I'm kind of caught into the lore of Crack the Clue, and I, you know, I'm excited. Yeah, dude. It, it's like speedrunning, baby. <laughs> nah, it's like an nah, obscure geez. community thing that you fall in love with it's, yeah. it's just content for other people to stream you know it's yeah. just cool stuff now speaking of free to play there are a shit ton of free to play worlds and none of them are really that active do you think they Let should do look. something about that mm, I mean I feel like a lot of players are just becoming members because the members worlds are fucking you know right? filled 
So honestly, them being at like 200, 300 right now doesn't seem that bad of a thing because you really don't have that many spots to train. Yeah. Like, if I were to go hop over to a free to play world with no level restrictions on it right now, all the hill see. giants are packed, dude. It's over. Let me pick, let me just pick a random one. Well, well that's uh, just how RuneScape is. I mean, back in the day, hill giants were packed, everything, yeah, exactly. Packed. Even with like 300 players in a world, hell giants are still packed. <laughs> all yes. right, so I've hopped over to a random like a uh, free to play world, and I was in West Artie just Smith and Addy bars right now into darts. And I come outside over to the, the three oak trees, and I see one, two bots chopping the oak trees, and one huh. maybe legitimate player. And I judge it by like the names. And you see a name like Tyler Bra four one six and Roger Toe seven two zero. That brings up another problem. Do you think we have a world problem or a bot problem? Right? Because we, 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 we have always bot. had like, a bot problem. I, these these bots are like flies. They don't have a very long lifespan. They last like what like twenty four hours at most. Yeah, most of them get it's just get these ones, though. That's a really good comparison. I like that. I will say this. So, <clears throat> starting off on my new series, which I uploaded like a week ago, first episode where I was making money in free-to-play, I was telegrabbing wines of Zamoroks from the Order Deep in the Wildy, and 99% of people there were bots, right? I and, saw that. That was wild. Yeah. All you had to do was attack them once. You had to make sure you damaged them, or they wouldn't run. But as soon as you damaged them once, they'd run all the way to 20 wildy, <laughs> telly out, come back up and do it again. But apparently, I saw it in my comments <laughs> on my second video, whoever programmed that bot gave them fire strike and they attack back now. So they stand, <laughs> their, they stand their ground, dude. I was like, AI, AI, AI You made a shit. horrible Skynet, <laughs> Skynet, bro. It, they're fighting back. That's so, it's so good. Like, it was yeah. so easy to deal with when I did it. You just attacked them and you got the world for free. And sometimes they mm -hmm. bugged out outside of, like, the little chapel and just walked up and down for hours. Like, it just got stuck. But they attack back now, dude. They're vicious. You can't dude, them. advanced, innovative. Dude, That's like amazing. those kind of things, like that. Black chins and revs give me an idea to like make an Iron Man account on the side, kind of like how Kempke does 10 HP Iron Man, but have it capped at a combat level. So let's say for rev caves, I cap it at like 31 combat and get the highest range level I can. Come in with a magic short bow, and just find the level three looters and just kill them. That's yeah. what Solo did for his Iron in the beginning. It was yeah. pretty fun to watch. It's just those. Some of those bots, they'll insta log when they see you. They haven't been doing it to me. I just sneak up on them. They're very bad. But mm -hmm. before they would just insta log. Now, I, I don't know. Maybe they'll just get banned too fast if they have that programmed in because they do not insta log as much anymore, or at least when I was doing it. Yeah. I mean, they're clearly. I, I wouldn't say the bot problem is as bad as it has been in the past. But like, yeah, no, it used to be worse. I remember it worse. Yeah, like free to play. Make yourself an account. Log into a free to play world. The very first thing you're gonna see is visit visit insert gold selling website to get cheap cards <laughs> everywhere yeah, you go. Yeah. You can't stop that though. No, they can't yeah, because you can just create an account. You know, do it like that. If they but... were smart, they could DDoS that website. Yeah, right? like here, here's the deal. Here's what they <laughs> can do though. That's big brain thinking right there. <laughs> no, I'm just... You know, you know. Well, here's what they know. can do. Just they they, they can set up um anti spam like sy systems where for example uh if it's like a new account you can't spam a certain amount of thing like you you know how like right now anybody can just type as much as they want there's yeah. no limitations right but like obviously they should set some sort of setting if you're like in a I don't, I don't know. I guess Under it doesn't like have a certain area. total level, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. If you're like, if you just made this account and it's been like five days or whatever, like you can't, you just can't spam every single second, right? Like yeah. make it so that, oh, you can only talk maybe once a minute. Because I would reduce the spam by a fuck ton. Just, just by you, reducing Ryan, but one a minute. When are we going to stop having updates to where it d inconveniences players just for bots, right? Because the Eagles yeah. Peak, the uh, Battle Staffs. All sorts of shit. It's I just because they can't handle the bot. Dragon fire yeah. shield. Yeah. yeah. Fuck, dude. I want to use one of my pure. Now I gotta go get quest points, dude. Because yeah. of a bot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, the the question you're asking is where do you draw the line? And, Seriously. Uh, I mean, I I don't know exactly where we draw the line. I'll be honest with you. I that, say but, we uh, just hit off their websites. What are they gonna do? I mean, obviously. I mean, it bro, be it takes a lot of you know international law. And all that yeah. shit, they have to do. That's where they hire a bounty hunter, and I'm like, boy, they got money. Yeah, and then they make him, you know, get those. I'm not me. Well, I, don't I mean, know take it over to, uh, you know, <laughs> India. I'll get them in real quick, you know, like hire here. Spike Spiegel and have him take them all out. What they got to do is hire hackers to hack the hackers that hack other people for money. Imagine. 
That's what they count. That's what they count. Just imagine the freaking meme mm. of two Spider Man just pointing at each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're complaining. You know. What are you working for? Do you know it's what? Like, I'm working for Jagex. My my uh my little cousin recently came back to old school RuneScape because of RuneScape Mobile. Okay, and the first thing he messaged me was, "Hey man, give me some money." And I was Same. like, I was like, no. I was like, I'm not giving you nothing <laughs> because I don't give money to anybody because I've made money so many times from nothing. And, but he just kept on and on. And he just, I was just like, look, I will give you something. And that is it. I'm never giving you anything again. I gave him like a mill and like an obby mall or something like that. It was like, it was pretty Damn. much. Yeah, very generous of myself to give that to him. Took the time, gave yeah, it to calm him. Calm down there, Oprah. You, you should have him. hacked him after. <laughs> I'm not talking about like the size I, of it coming from you. I'm saying what it does for him. Yeah, <laughs> I, did, I didn't have to. I didn't have to hack him because a week later, he messages me saying, hey, he's like, how much are bonds? And I'm like, I don't know. And he's like, I'm going to buy some bonds so I can get Dragon Claws. And I'm like, go ahead. Oh. I was like, feel free. So he ends up buying, I don't know how much Dragon Claws are, like 80 mil. So God knows how much that is in real money. And then a week yeah. passes, I get a message saying some asshole has hacked my account. And he said, I saw a giveaway on Facebook for uh, RuneScape. Clicked uh, it. What a forehead. And now the guy's taken all of my stuff. And um, I just didn't even respond to him. I was just like, I think I'm about Okay, said, how like, old yeah, is your cousin? Again. How old is your cousin? He's like over 20, man. Like, there's no hope. Dude. <laughs> there's no hope. Dude, this man's never dealt I've with. I've never heard of someone no. getting hacked over Facebook. It's not even hacking. It's just a phishing link. That's all it yeah, is. Yeah, that's it. He yeah. literally got fished, and I was just like, "Oh my god, I'm so." This is why it I don't give you stuff. Like, I knew this was gonna happen, and I just, yeah. I was just like, "Yeah, you just, you gotta watch out for that stuff, man. Just go." Yeah, dude, go I'm gonna Google. go on a tangent, bro. I'm gonna go on a tangent real quick. If you guys don't mind, but like, go ahead, go dude. Ahead. A lot of people. They don't understand that the internet is a dangerous ass play. Yep. Like they don't, bro. Like I'm it's lucky. Gangster shit. Like I'm lucky that I got scammed for 10k back when I was like 10 because it was that moment when I knew the internet was a fucked up play. It hardened you. It yeah, no, it hardened <laughs> me. Like seriously, I was like, anytime someone traded me stuff, I'd be like, all right, is this guy gonna switch his bones to like you know the ship bones? He's gonna switch his U logs, <laughs> like shit logs. Like, yeah, tell me, show logs. me. You know, I, every time, like half the trades, there's always somebody trying to fuck me over, right? Yeah. I'm like, I can't trust these guys. So like, I knew, you know, like anywhere, phishing links, like Facebook links, I don't care. It was always sketch ass links. But uh, like a lot of people, I guess, you know, they don't they don't learn about they it. They didn't until, have that like, rough ass childhood. Yeah, dude, they don't learn about mm -hmm. it until they're like 20, dude. Because like I I'd be like streaming sometimes, and people are like. Yo, man, I lost my account because Bodhi was quitting. You know, I'm like, oh, wow, Bodhi quit for like the 100th time, right? He's like, yeah, shit. I clicked like on that the eighth link. time today he's quit. Yeah, yeah, he dude. And, lot, and they man. keep telling me to get hacked. I'm like, and then and then all these other people are like, man, you're so fucking stupid, man. Who fall for that shit? I'm like, look, man, if I never got like, if I never got scammed for 10K, I would have fell for that shit too at the age of like 14. Yeah. You know? I mean, like, so, put yourself in the shoes of somebody yeah, like sucks. a brand that new sucks. player has come to old screens, get mobile, or maybe played a little bit back in the day. Like, if you go onto Twitch and you start watching it, like, they're not going to know the difference between actual boaty stream and then, like, you know, a fishing site boaty stream. It's, yeah, you can't smell gingers like that, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah, it, it's yeah. it's easily fallen for, but, like, obviously, yeah. we all know what's going on because we've just been around for so long, you know? Fishing's been going Dinosaurs. on since, like, the BH craters, if not before then. Way right, before, before. Man. Since mm -hmm. the dawn of time, bro. People just, just <laughs> people don't know, and I yeah. guess, I guess, like, is, is there enough out there that Jagex, like, protects people in that set? Like, is there enough education? Is there? There, there is. They try, there. but no one wants to learn. But, but here's the deal. You know what they could easily do, right? It's like, because we have our own section for RuneScape, I feel like at the top, they, there should be, like, a little warning. Watch out for fake streams. They'll steal your Don't account. do giveaways or something, you know? You know what I'm saying? Like, like, uh, like I'll have a little two title, two sentence thing on the top that says, uh, give a, uh, like quitting streams, all those streams, those are fake. They're designed to take away your account. Don't click on it. Yeah. Like, just have that. Honestly, that would probably, like, fucking help a ton. But they don't even do simple shit like that, you know? Honestly, they don't. All they do is take down accounts when people report it. That sometimes even takes a while. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, it might just be a lot of work for, like, not a very big result. Because I, I never read this. I feel like it would help a lot, man. Because it, it would? You know, it, yeah, I, I feel like it would because like uh, right now on, on, on the page, all it is is just the channels, right? And that's it. There's like no background information, no nothing, right? Because like 
think about this way a lot of people that play games they don't play games where you invest in time to hold items right you play just matches when you're done you're done everything's gone again right you don't you don't save anything so like people don't expect like to lose things in runescape right they never do yeah, yeah. it's like okay so, imagine so let's let's um let's have a little uh comparison here so yeah. instead of runescape let's say we play club penguin right and we have that fat ass <laughs> club penguin gp i don't know what that is yeah so it's such a simple easy game that you're like okay it just we're, we're chilling i want i want an igloo or whatever the fuck they have in there you go watch some fucking streamers all of a sudden someone's doing like an igloo giveaway on twitch it's such a simple pure game you're not gonna go it's not gonna jack my ass for all my club penguin gp nah dude it's over you're gone no more club penguin gp for you and that's how yeah, i see runescape does. people play this game it's like a point to click cartoonish looking yeah, so yeah. and all, all your shit is saved bro you know you spend two hours you get two hours of whatever, right? It's on the account, but unless someone takes it, right? And which, in which case, if you're new, you're not going to realize that people want your shit, and they will take your two hours of effort or however many days or weeks. So I feel like uh, you know, at the very least, because think about it this way, Jagex definitely does some uh, deals and shit with with Twitch, right? Right now they're doing a deal with the membership stuff, right? Yeah. Like t- seriously, so t- one of them just has to tell the Twitch admins or whatever. If you have time, can you please like, you know, put out a little warning on the top or something for for like, you know, just just simple shit, right? It's not hard to call that. There's no way it's hard to call that. Put or just honestly, just hire a few J mods to just like, try and become a Twitch partner, I guess in a sense, or like work for Twitch, so they can like just take down those phishing links like immediately or within a few minutes. Yeah, we've yeah, we've that's what I did too. Yeah, we spoke yeah. about that. Yeah, yeah. I guess if uh, in a way like. It kind of makes RuneScape very unique in the sense of like, yeah. it's a game where you literally have to stay on your toes because yeah, shit you really can be do. taken away from you in a heartbeat if you fuck up. You got to wise up to play this game. Yeah, you literally little you, kids. You click one think, link, put an info in the wrong website. If you couldn't sell gold, you know, I always think that way. How would it be? Would there not be as many shitty people in this game? We I love that. if this just. <laughs> GP was not sold, you know, but it's it would a, be a lot less online. stakers. Yeah, think about this way, yeah. man. When we removed trading, that's what happened. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I know, and it was not fun. It was not. It was. No, I mean, it was no, fun, dude. I but mean, not like. Could, you know, I'm not saying like let's add penalties a game. I'm just thinking of yeah. like a fucking bizarre reality where people don't oh, try okay. to sell gold for a job. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. Like, what if it was just a game that yeah, you enjoyed? Whoa, you know? Yeah, yeah. It, it, there's too much. It crosses mm-hmm. too much into the real life. That's like the phrase I, I want. To just crosses way too much. That's into supply the real and life. demand, dude. When people want it, there's always yeah. gonna be a price for it. Because yeah, like when we play this game, gold, bro, you losers, yeah. fucking Christ, yeah, man. dude. Because how like, hard is it to slay? Ah, bro. When people play this game, they they play as if it's their second life, like life, like they. Have you know you what I mean? That they, game, second life, by the way. Second. Uh, life. nope. But oh, it's, but I just realized a lot of people they they play the game as if they're like living it in real life. Crazy. Like yeah. the commitment, like the process, right? The thing, the thefts, right? That that occur, yeah. That shit's like real life in that. Ridiculous. So yeah, a lot of people have trouble like separating a game from real life. You know, like uh, real life instincts, I guess, because they definitely apply those instincts to the game a lot of times, yeah. and they don't even realize it. I mean, to be honest. It was kind of one of the big factors that got me hooked on RuneScape in the first place. Like, watching people, yeah. like, uh, lure people in the wildy, scam people, etc. Like, years ago when I was a little kid and first started playing. I loved that. I was like, this is a dog <laughs> dog game. Doggy dog yeah. world. If you aren't smart... I remember smart, watching those videos. If you're not smart, you're going to get taken in one way I remember other. watching prehistoric shows when, you know, freaking Neanderthals were baiting animals, you know. That's kind of like RuneScape, right? Yeah. yeah. You're younger. I think Minty and Rixie might remember this. There was a clip from like years ago, back when like, you know, Bounty Hunter, like, you know, was a big thing in the wilderness, like just after free trade came back and you actually got all the loot when you killed somebody. And there was a lore that came off from like a group of people just death dotting with like ancients, teleblock, whatever. And they lured a guy with a divine and they managed to smite him. And then the guy just starts freaking out that he got the divine. Yeah, I don't know if you remember that clip, but I was like, that's insane. <clears throat> I've seen that. Yeah. Was that, um... That was a Chris Archie prod one. Yeah, was it probably. Four rules at like level fifty wieldy? No, that was like level two, level one. Oh really? Like I'm talking like north of the Varrock, like Grand Exchange, like north of Varrock, like there. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I, dude, I'll never forget. <laughs> right. 
I don't even know what JX did, but this one time they did this update and it's when I was a Mage Bank PK, right? And Mage Bank is completely single, always has been. Now, I knew I was getting lured by this kid because it was so obvious. Like, I'd been PKing for a long time. I knew I was getting lured, but I thought it was a single lure. And this is where the, uh, do you know where the stairs are at Mage Bank? Whatever, you know, where the uh, hill giants are down below. You know where I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Just, okay. beh just behind there, I got lured, right? And oh, man. I can't remember what the update was. And I, I was like, I'm not worried. I got my pack yak. I'm just going to fucking, you know, send all my good stuff back to the bank and probably be able to tank it anyways. Now, a whole team logged in with dark bows and I got lured into one square. For for some reason, that one square was multi. Oh, yeah? no. I'm not even, Spaghetti code. I got, I got hit by like 13 fucking dark bows in one shot from my bank, dude. I was so oh, to it. Oh, man. I don't even You're know like, why I'm going to anti lord this guy so hard. <laughs> yeah. And then you just get popped. I'm like, what? Like, yeah. It was like, why Did is they there... fixed it, by the way? Yeah, they fixed it, but it's like, why is there one square of multi at Mage Bank? It was so funny. Totally you for right. your yeah. bank. It kind of reminds me, why was there one square of a twisted bow? Yeah. You know, I'll I'll twisted yeah. bow. <laughs> so, like, 20 people could message me on Discord, like, while I'm at work, and then I see uh, it, I'm like, of course this happens, like, you know. Not our time zone, like, right? Now, yeah, I, I wake time. up, I, I scroll through Twitter, I'm like, what? Why did I wake up? I. Come on, man. Shit. Seven hours, bro. I could have, like, literally, if I stayed up for ten more minutes, it would happen, and I would have been a part of it. Yeah, but I went right. to sleep. Fuck. I mean, I when, I, I that day. when I said earlier, why do you think the Jagex have only implemented one update for Demamo Tournament? I was really hoping one of you was just going to say, oh, they're probably just too busy fixing all the fuck-ups they've done in their <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah. that's how one probably just goes without saying, like, we all know the elephants in the room. We don't have to address it. It's there. We all see it. We'll leave, we'll leave that to Jagex to clean up. We do give, I mean, we give Jagex some stick, too. but I mean, like, at the end of the day, it's because we care about the game. Yeah. They do do a great job in other other areas. Just obviously, I mean, hey, look, I'm crazy. It's actually hard to hate, you know? Yeah, it's, it's hard to hate. You know, when I have yeah. a complaint, I feel bad because I'm like, they're trying their best, dude. But, yeah. but we were talking about luring and those videos they got into RuneScape. I had this prehistoric memory. I don't know if you guys knew, uh, have seen videos like this. Um, it's where people got lured for their party hats, etc. And I know the portal one, but I have this uh, yeah, memory, one. and it was like, like a castle, right? Okay. It was like a PvP. I don't know why. And it was, um, and if you died, you lost all your shit. And they'd be on Skype talking about it, and they'd skull them and kill them. Oh, that was that screamed. was in yeah, that was in Clan Wars. You could go in the portal, or you could have like a clan versus clan, but you could take one person in there. And it was like all PvP death drop. It was yes. like a weird castle looking. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. It was just a prehistoric memory. And I'm like, when, where did I see that from? Where the fuck did they do that? Because it was so, like, I've had dreams about that area for some reason. It's so weird. Yeah. It's I've... weird. A lot of the lores are from people going in thinking it's like, you know, safe death and they keep their stuff, but they don't read it. And then I remember seeing one clip of like a yeah. guy dying with both, like all three of the spirit shields, like arcane, divine, and spectre. <sighs> Like he had to try to show of off and he got fucking clapped, dude. Yeah, he yeah, got clapped man. and just like didn't realize, like, oh, I'm gonna lose my stuff. He lost like three bill worth of shit. <laughs> it's like two cars back <laughs> in the day. Like, <laughs> what are you doing? Like, read. <laughs> Not hard, man. Please read. You know, I like, would have like, for, for it all the time. I, it looks I so safe. Reading. It looks so safe. Dude, dude. when you're when you're be... in a rush, nobody fucking reads anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's you that's know why that was probably implemented? I bet it was like an evil J mod again back in the day. No one would think. To uh to have all drops PvP death. It's like, oh it sounds like a good idea, but no one would really be too scared to lose their shit in there, so they'll just go in and check it. Ah, oh, you're dead. You lost all your shit. Yeah. I, bet it was I remember like some... a lot of like really elaborate lores from back when. Like and most of them had gotten patched because it wasn't intended game code. Like you remember the item lending system? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like from back in pre OC. Mm -hmm. So there was one lore I saw where a guy had a yellow party hat lent to him from somebody else. And this is like all planned. Like they plan to lure the guy. So they brought him up over to like, you know, wilderness lover and everything. Yep. And oh, they're both they... in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the guy had like, you know, some gear to fight with him. So the guy they're luring is fighting, like, you know, the guy who is doing the luring's friend. So the guy with the yellow party had, had lent to him, goes up to him and uses it on him and like returns it to him in the middle of the fight. And he dies and loses the party hat because it went off like, you know, elk price, not GE value back then. Yeah. 
I feel so bad because he lent him the. Why would you do that to your friend? Why are people in RuneScape such cunts, dude? Well, no, no, no. Because uh, you'd go. No, up, you'd they were friends they with the guy. Friends, they they were. They were. No? Yeah, yeah. You it just was still a cunty dude, move. Dude, that lasted. Real, that lure was like a week old. You'd go to mm -hmm. the Grand Exchange. You'd find somebody who was lure, like lending out any party hat or rare, and be like, "Hey, man, like, do you want to be a part of my video or something? I want to wear the party hat and look sick. I want to be at Mage Bank." And then you'd be like, can you come so I can kill you and get a clip for the video? And they'd be like, yeah, sure. Because the way that the system worked is you lent it oh. for like six hours. But there was a bit, it wasn't a glitch or a bug. But the way that it was coded was that you could take that and give it back to the person prematurely. So as soon as they got them up there, they TB'd them, used the item on them. And then they had the item back on them. It was just a case of like, this is my fucking item. It's given back to me. Shit, yeah, and then I'm you about kill to him. die for it. Yeah, and that lasted for like a week. And then they got rid yeah. of that, and they made it so I don't think it was either you couldn't take lent items in the wildy, or you yeah, couldn't you couldn't them. Yeah, you just couldn't. Uh, I take think you could still bring them in there, but <clears throat> actually, no, you couldn't because you'd be technically. I, yeah. I don't know how it worked. I just know like when you got it back, it would be waiting at the banker for you. It wouldn't just like appear in your inventory or bank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would have to go through an NPC. Yeah. Imagine how many lives were just crushed because Jagex just doesn't update, doesn't think it through. You know what I mean? Just bills on bills on bills of people. Then it's one update. At the same time, like to think of that lure, you have to be quite imaginative to come up with something like that and kind of smart. You need to be, you know, ahead of the curve. To like be yeah, able to figure something you, you like that. You gotta know how to backstab people. I feel you know? it was just like older mm -hmm. kids, right? Because everyone was so yeah, young back then, no yeah. one really thought it was of it. Always if it, was, if it happened now, I would have thought yeah. of it like day one. But back in the yeah. day, I wouldn't have. You know, I was still picking flax and selling it for shitty prices. So yeah, I think it was just who matured. You back know, back when flax was like 100 GP each, man. Those were the Oh, days. that was big. Yeah. Dude. My friend scammed me for all my flax. <laughs> I flaxed and then he strung it. He sold it, gave me a quarter of the profit. Oh, oh man. <laughs> And that's when Never you talk like, to him again. Yeah, dude, back dude. then, you thought he was a fucking saint. I thought he was a homie. Yeah, we had this now, plan. We're like, we're both gonna make 500k tonight, and we just were chilling point. and talking on Skype. And then he's like, "Here's your 100k, dude." I'm like, it's "See, that up, that, that's how you know a betrayal starts is when you talk on Skype. It always mm -hmm. starts with the talk on." I know, man. Feels bad, dude. Feels Every bad. time. All right, guys. Every time. So, are we gonna wrap it up? I think we've spoke <clears throat> about most of the things, and that's just something you guys want to talk uh, about. Well, um, I feel like I feel like we have some requests, you know, for for more. Um, I don't know. This might be more internal, but um, I kind of just want to address the whole thing with like guests and how much participation goes on in in the podcast, right? Yeah. I feel like I want to address that because, like. So we have some people saying, I feel like the guests don't get enough speaking time. But here's here's my take on that, right? Just, you know, for transparency's sakes, is that we I feel like a lot of people. Speak, yeah, yeah, I dude. feel like. <laughs> yeah. No, I feel, yeah, yeah, I dude. feel like. Wait, right, don't. Like, do you agree with me? Like, it's just a lot of the people that come in, they're not used to the podcast. So they're just yeah. obviously, you know, they're not too comfortable to talk. It's like. Yeah. I feel like if they were to say, had a lot to talk about, I, I, I'm sure we would just. If Not we leave more that. open space in between yeah. our wording, it would probably be more of a drier podcast. And we're yeah. kind of, I feel like we're definitely aggressive when we speak because we're trying to get a word in. Yeah. But whenever the guest tries to speak, we all listen because we want yeah, that's them to like be how we do fully yeah, like right now, me too. Shut up. I'm trying to talk here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm just kidding. Yeah. I'm kidding, buddy. Yeah, no, but like what we're saying is I feel like we get them back for a second time. You know, they'll be, they'll yeah. be more than likely to talk but we're you know we're still working on like the style you know i, I feel like we're still trying to mold into the style that we're trying it's to go just for how here. comfortable yeah. the guest is with the topic and if they want yeah. to voice their opinion you know I always try to get yeah, their story definitely. like i i want the guests to speak as much as they are comfortable to speak <clears throat> uh we clearly have like a bit of a flow and a pattern with how we do our podcasts and it typically just goes down we just end up talking about something we go off on tangents we chill we just chill and talk about runescape you know and if the guests is comfortable getting involved in it than they are i mean what we could potentially do is make it so there's just a segment in the podcast where like a guest comes on for like x amount of time but you know well, what do you guys think down in the comments should we do that and make it specifically so if we have a guest on for 20 minutes we talk just about the guest for those 20 minutes or just keep it as it is like that'd be some or, pretty good yeah or would, you, or would you like us to have a segment where we just kind of like ask kind of a a embarrassing default. question for the guests yeah, and we'll just yeah like like up. a default amount of questions you know like oh like when you start playing the game what's blah, your breast blah, blah, blah. size i like the so idea like, embarrassing okay. question for the guest uh it's a12 
A12. What the fuck? How thick I don't even know if that's an actual size. <laughs> well, for bread, A12. Know. No, I don't think. I think for A12. That sounds is like right? steak. A12, quality, I'm out. Bro. All right, that sounds like thing, Wagyu right? steak quality, bro. I was yeah, they actually like invert. It goes in. Any <laughs> other Audi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah, but I like you know it. Right, I'm, I'm learning too much. Uh, like... <laughs> but no, we uh, can definitely be better about it. But I yeah, no, like... we're, we're still in the baby stage, though. Yeah. Yeah, I don't yeah, like the tradition. Yeah, yeah you can start yeah, it off yeah. right now. Did like, we go say for the embarrassing talk? question for guest idea. Yeah, yeah. I feel like before we wrap up, let, let's ask Colin some some uh, pretty all right obvious questions. Yeah. All right, you each get one. Choose carefully. Okay, right. So you start. I'm thinking. Okay, I mean, see, I already know a lot about Cold One, bro. He's, he's all right, no, ask something. Okay, all right, all right, all right. What do you specialize in in RuneScape? You know, what, what's your type of cons? That's not even embarrassing. You're, no, I don't want to just ask an embarrassing <laughs> question. I'll ask you right. after that one because I, I kind of want people to know, you know. Okay. Uh, your, your, your I specialize job. in high end PVM content, like, you know, Soul Chambers. I've done a few, like, two Soul Theater of Blood, all Iron Man. What? Content. Like, you know, that's it. What? Well, don't sound too surprised you watch both of them. Say that again. Yo, they don't know. Come on, man. I'm hyping you up, brother. Would they live under a rock or something? Yeah. Yo, he is. Awesome, I mean, I know Minty lives under a rock because he spends half his time as a rock in the wilderness. <laughs> you know, I was wondering where that was going. I'm glad it yeah. ended up there. Uh, All right. He knows his shit. Yeah, okay. high level PVM content guy. Yeah, pretty much. He's the only Iron Man, by the way, who sold TOB. Right. If anybody, you know. So this that's isn't like this isn't that's... my question, but like, do you have any YouTube videos on that stuff? Because I need to learn no. solo. Oh, that's a shame, man. I, I, hate, shame. I hate doing stuff for like... YouTube. <laughs> Just because it involves work, like like you know, all the power to you guys to do it. Like you make money out of it, and it's your full time job. I don't have that luxury because I have my own full time job outside of yeah. this game. And like streaming is just easy. I literally push one button and I just play the game and talk to people. It's phenomenal. YouTube, yeah, I've got to like you know, record everything, format <laughs> it, make sure I don't double clip stuff and that kind of thing. Like yeah, it's just like an extra couple of hours of work. It definitely right. takes like it has to be like a hobby. If you want to do it realistically, mm. like I just love editing videos. I I love everything about YouTube. I always yeah. have, so it's just something I love. So my question's really like just kind of mad, but like, how long have you been playing RuneScape? Like, when did you first start playing RuneScape? Uh, February of two thousand four. My cousin actually introduced it to me. See, like when I was at his house, I was like, "Hey, got the recovery <laughs> you know, check out this game." What's the date? You know, this on, looks really good. <laughs> February, February, February. February. If you want to hack my alt account, go right ahead. It's a mule. Like, oh, there that's even better. Has all the uh, cash. Yeah. That's what's up. Got dude. the cash. I, I don't know about that. I alk all my dupes anyway. Nah. Yeah, he's uh, notorious for alking his like rare drops, like arcane periscopes and sanguinity stamps. Yeah, I mean, don't hey, dislike man. the podcast. Three mil GP is three mil GP. Just Please saying. Like that. That's yeah. fair. That's fair. All yeah. right. Well, your guys' questions kind of blue ass. Like, yeah, ass. You should, should I'll ask, feel I'm bad about simple. yourself. Don't worry. Go on, no, all right. Uh, okay, cold one. When was the first time you got a boner in class? <laughs> now i gotta like think back to this one i know it was like sometime in middle school maybe like that's sixth a grade or seventh grade or something i'm not gonna remember the exact time because like it didn't like stand out in my mind like oh my god this is so embarrassing i have a boner the only thing i <laughs> yes, was like just tucking under my belt like everybody else did when was the first time they realized it like you actually stood up hit up for your math book you know poked somebody in the eye what happened but there? you didn't know what it was though right for a while you know, at least if anybody noticed it nobody said anything because they don't even know what it was, was like you know you know hey phelps you got a boner I'm like Cool. That never <laughs> happened. <laughs> yeah, no, think about it. If you're in middle school, nobody knows what that shit is. Man. Yeah. You know, right? You're just like, what is this? <laughs> well, why is it hard? Maybe yeah. 2019 people know what that is because, like, everyone's more sexually active early now. See, than I, mean, I feel were, like, like we've always. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I feel like historically. I'll for a story, but... Okay, I'll tell you mine. Yeah. All right. I'll warn All right, you. Okay. All right. All right. Let's hear. So All I was right. in English class, right? Um, <laughs> And this girl's sitting next to me and they're adjusting their boobs, right? And I'm doing this, right? I'm trying to be respectful, but also I do one of these, you know, one of those. Oh, uh, right? And I was being real, like, because these, dude. And she, right up, right nip, <laughs> right? And it was white. <laughs> and I was not prepared for a white nip. So I was just like this, just chilling. And she looks <laughs> at me when it's just like halfway out. She goes, I, I can see you looking. And I'm like, you sure can. <laughs> <laughs> I was Please like, here, I got that. you. <laughs> <laughs> right? That is that you imagining what she would say? Or is that what you saying? No, she, she saw. I was treated right next to me. I don't know what she was. She was kind of like the um the school Wait, slut. What is in this? In, in middle school or something? I can't remember. It was just like an the English fuck? class. And she was kind of like a school slut. She did not give a fuck. But it was white. And I did not know. They were like white. It was like albino nips. <laughs> That's weird. Wait, they weren't even like pink at all? 
Oh my from my God, memory, that's... unless my memory is fucking horrible, it might have been whitish pink or so. It looked like uh, yeah. someone bleached their nips. I don't know. <laughs> oh my! I, I know what you're talking about. So are you a boob, oh, are you a boob or an ass man, man? Because I feel like you've been traumatized by white nipples. Okay. All right. First <laughs> off, boobs are cool. White nips are all. Come at me. I like them all, but ass is the way. I almost <laughs> was an ass man. You told me about that shit story for lady. I almost had to convert there. He diverted, uh, you know. Yeah. Usually you convert, but he diverted. I almost had to fucking get off ship, you know, once I heard about the ass and the shit. And I was like, mm, <laughs> I'm still an ass man there. Oh, my God. Shit happens, dude. Natural. Yeah. Man. All right. Last question for Colin <laughs> then. Ass or tits? Ass, 100%. <laughs> yeah. All right. Why? Way more fun to grab when you're going at it. <laughs> what you guys oh, just, and just to too. during Twitch or RuneFest, huh? <laughs> no, no, there wasn't I, any... I mean, we couldn't do anything. He don't got an ass. Like, what are you yeah, doing? Damn, no, right? you got a booty? Them. Why am What's I flying not, over? Dude. What's up, dude? <laughs> Yo, man, I have my own bed, bro. What the hell? Oh, <laughs> that shit. Yeah, what about yeah, you, dude. Rice? What are you, ass or, ass or tits? Uh, I'm like, I'm like half-half. Half-half. Like okay. I don't really yeah, if it's a good, it's a good balance. <laughs> it's gotta be a good balance, you know. I don't really get uh, uh, tit people. I, I don't understand it. You can do so much with an ass. There's two. Except holes if to it's fake. With, like... If it's fake, no thanks. You know. <laughs> when, it, <laughs> when it comes to tits, dudes, all you can do is like, you know, well, you can do a fair bit, but there's only one real way to fuck them. You know, there's so much more than an ass. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, tits are great. Don't get me wrong, but like, if a girl doesn't have a good ass, like, I could settle for a girl. Or settles a, a poor choice of word. I could be very happy with a girl who has a cracking ass and like no tits. <laughs> but the other way around, big tits, cracking tits, and a terrible ass, I can't live with it, man. Dude, Not I don't know me. how girls can't okay. get an ass. Some just don't have an ass. I'm like, you just do some squats or something, you have like a little well, bit of ass. I don't right? got time for that. Ge genetics, man. You know? Genetics definitely has a role. Yeah, I mean, if you do some, if you do some, uh, like squats, they'll definitely uh, perk things up a bit for sure. I mean, I, I'm with you there, Racy, though, man. They have to have somewhat of a booty. Boobs? Maybe. Uh, so, yeah, it sounds like you guys are perfectionists, so, you know, I'm saying. But they but... gotta have some booty, dude. If yeah. they don't have, if I have more booty than she does, I got a big <laughs> booty. I'm out. Just reverse the role, dude. Come on, you know. She yeah. can grab yours. <laughs> oh, okay, I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking something a little darker than that. All right. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay. I mean, Friday. Yeah, you got a few seconds. Yeah, gonna, yeah, like, break you happy something. there, Rice? That's how we ended? Like, yeah. Like hey, yeah, yeah I mean, there we go. Now we get to know a bit about Cole One's sexuality and stuff. You, All right, you know what? One more class? question. One more question. All right. One um, more. Yeah, yeah. Embar dude, I had to ask an embarrassing question, dude. Right. Yeah, you didn't ask one. You just asked what I specialize in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So let's talk about RuneFest because, you know, I feel like that's pretty relatable. Um, So what was. Uh, let's let's see when you were because like on the, on the first day of Rufus you were hella drunk you yeah know, you were just That's hella fair. drunk you know so is there was there any any moments that you recall you know that was like embarrassing when you were drunk spoke that on that first day mm -hmm. of Rufus right oh maybe yeah, I said yeah, some dumb yeah. stuff I don't remember like doing anything stupid like you know like pissing on a wall inside the building or anything like you know that crazy not 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 like that yeah you were, yeah yeah is that no, what you usually maybe do it was like drunk? some stuff I said because I don't remember like half the conversations. But there's nothing I can exactly recall I did that was too embarrassing. Why you got something? Yeah, I think no, you no, I I don't remember. I was saying, oh I'm just trying to think of something. How do you not remember? You were <laughs> drunk too. I, I, mean, I don't know, man. I, I didn't think anything too bad for me would happen. All right, so get some embarrassing like, stories. Like, the thing is, you, you went away. Yeah, you you like you like just kind of like went around and just yeah. There's my beers, so. yeah, that's kind of like something embarrassing. Is like how much money I spent Friday night. Like when I looked. Like, you know, how much was in my pocket and like how much I withdrew from the ATM. I'm like, I like did the math the next morning. I'm like, shit, I spent 250 quid last night on beer. Wow, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude, That's he gave, he gave out so much beer, bro, to everyone. I like that. That's dope, dude. Yeah. Yeah, that was crazy, dude. We saw, we saw Fo drink a uh, beer off, off some dude's shoe. That was pretty gross. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I think I had like maybe two beers on the first night because the queue was just too long. I could have, I'm lazy, man. Yeah, if I, I was had to. See, I'm, out. I'm a lightweight, though. You, know, you did it wrong. Long. You had to go upstairs to the land area. There was no line for that bar, and they had everything I up there. I didn't even know there was a bar up there. What the hell? Yeah, there was. Colin can smell beer. No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's nice. power to have, man. Yeah. Jesus. I, I missed <laughs> out. To be I fair, gotta... I was on morphine. I wasn't supposed to be drinking, anyways. Probably didn't help with my Yeah, that's fair. To be fair. But yeah. I have a little picture for uh, Minty here. It's up to you if you want to show it. I don't know, like, you know, the legitimacy of what you can show slash not show on here. Ooh, we can but show Minty, this. how do you feel about this? We can show, we can show that. <laughs>
Our street OSRs. So something uh one of my friends said who posted this, he's like, you know, I think given the chance I could probably still enjoy RS3. <laughs> As I kind of gave him this look, I was like <laughs> Oh, no, we're hitting God. levels I mean, of jail know. time we haven't seen before here. Um, <laughs> the most controversial podcast yet. Recently, man. that's college volleyball. I feel uh, like that's fo- I feel like that's photoshops, but I don't know, man. Yeah. Jesus Christ! You know that <laughs> that's you know, a Photoshop. You know that's hundred percent Photoshop. You know the OSRS is. She's definitely a popular girl in her school. No <laughs> doubt in my mind. Man, uh, an no, avid. No uh, doubt avid. in my mind. That to me is just like. I don't know. I feel I feel a lot of stuff when I see that. I'll, put, I'll leave it. <laughs> <in there. laughs> All, right. All right, close it, close it. Close it. <laughs> yeah, dude. Man, we need to end the stream right now, dude. Yeah, it's good. Getting worse and worse. Right. Anyways, sorry. Remember, we, yeah, you, a you cold did, you one. Did, you did. Where can people find you, dude? What are your social medias? Shout them out. All right, you can find me on www.twitch.tv slash a cold one and i have a twitter as well but i don't remember the exact tag for it i think it's osrs underscore cold one so. yeah we'll link it in the description as always lovely yeah Beautiful. i gotta and post too much on twitter on. like i'll sign on every couple of days to like a few of my friend stuff maybe shit posts on something that zulu said or like something that Bodhi said or something but that's really it but it's there it's a thing Fair enough. and if oh, something big happens yeah. like me doing something really cool then like i'll post it on there but that's it Lovely. Well, we're link all of that in the description. Again, guys, a cold one ended his stream for some bizarre reason. You didn't have to do that, dude, but thank you very much, man. We really yeah, appreciate it. Make sure you go and follow a cold one, because that's that's some serious commitment. I like that. Yeah, thank that's you, a man. commitment to his craft. I mean, like, if I was, like, you know, streaming, like, you know, me, like, I don't know, Three Tick Hunter or something, sure, I'd keep it going, but I was doing solo raids. I mean, granted, I was doing a farm run in the middle, but, like, you know, trying to solo raid while trying to keep up with a podcast conversation. I mean, Man, try doing yeah, that's that. hard. That's you, hard. You we try. You try. don't need to explain your genius, dude. If you can solo raise, yeah, you're a genius. You're, you're cut above most people. I need to learn that us. shit. <laughs> hey, hey, yeah, man. Yeah, you need to learn that shit. Five dollars an hour. Do you rice when I come over? You'll teach me. Uh, we're gonna need like weeks. Bro. Minty, <laughs> you know, Minty, I have just a stream for you. Stream if you where, want to learn where... how to solo raid, you can watch yeah. Switch on TV slash a cold one. You can learn how to solo raid right there. Yo, yo, you know what? We'll do a stream mint where where I teach you how to raid. On stream. That's That'd what's up, dude. I yeah. need to learn. I need to learn. Easy, easy. All right, okay. All right, thanks for watching, boys. Make sure to subscribe. Hey, <laughs> don't forget down below, ring the bell.